Hi. Hi. <laughs> My name is Tilly, a.k.a. Gloria. And um, I'm here to tell you, well, I have three children, uh, two daughters and one son. Those are my daughters up there on the video. And um, I have been to CIW. I went there three times uh, on different occasions, uh, twice with new charges, once with um, a violation. Uh, at that time, I was pretty young when I started out, and it really wasn't a terrible thing for me. I didn't have kids, so the first time it was just uh, doing time. I was used to doing time in juvie, so it wasn't real terrible for me. Um, my son would not participate in this because he has really feelings. Uh, one time I was arrested, and they went in my neighbors and took him and put him in foster care. Hopefully, the foster system has gotten better at that time it wasn't and i was raised in foster care and i don't like to talk about it any more than he does but it happened and i think that you guys should know about it if you don't uh, it was a uh, pretty bad it was pretty bad so all i can tell you is that i hope it's changed and i hope they're helping people and they're seriously helping children because it was cold and very uncaring. And I went through them and since I was born in a hospital sick. My mom left me there. So I was there. And all the foster homes, after the first five years, I stayed with the nurses. That was good. After that, it went down. And I was never felt like I was loved, wanted, cared for, nothing like that. They fed me, pretty nasty, but I ate. But I never stayed there. I ran off because I didn't like it. I didn't feel good. I didn't, it wasn't for me, I guess. I just didn't like it. So I started running away at eight. I, uh, <clears throat> I went with my older sister. She's only a couple years older than me because we met my mother and father. They finally came to see us in one of the foster homes. I heard their name and where they lived. So we, I looked in the phone book and found out where that was. So. I started calling everyone and found out that where they were, and so we took a bus and we went there. Found our parent. So, okay, that was okay, but um, I didn't last there very long. It wasn't very uh, good either. It wasn't as bad as foster homes, though. It was my mom, after all. But she wasn't ready for children. That's why she never went and got us. And we, she had three. She never went and got us because she wasn't ready. Um, true enough, I was sick when she left me in the hospital, so. I forgave that in a way, sort of, but um, she really wasn't ready, and we should have understood that, but we were kids trying to get with our parents, so we didn't care what they said. We just wanted to be there. Okay, so after that, I ran off from there, too. Um, I didn't stay there. Um, okay, at about 12, I remember my, uh, well, 11, my girlfriend and I found a car that with keys in it. We were in San Isidro. She lived there, and I was visiting and so we took the car and went to San Francisco. <laughs> and that was fun <laughs> because uh, we had met a lot of people when we were locked up in these juvenile places. And they were like real receptive. Oh, come on, and hiding us from the parents, feeding us, letting us stay. It was kind of interesting. <laughs> and so we did that until we got tired, maybe a week, two weeks. I'll give it about two weeks. And then we started to come back. Well, we got caught trying to steal gas to get home. So that was another two and a half years I gave up to Juvie. But, um, so where am I at? Okay, so Juvie and prison really kind of were like the same to me because I was young. I didn't really have that much going. My mom and them never wrote, so they didn't really care much and I didn't miss anything. So it was just like, you know, I find some good people that like me at Juvie or uh, in the prison and they treat me good and I'd get, you know, like privileges here, privileges there, and some didn't and I would get not privileges. So it was just a matter of adapting, which I did. I did pretty good. I was the youngest one in the joint the first time I went, by the way. Um, okay, so then I met Shirley in 1966. We were going to Pasadena City College and we were working on art projects, which I did end up getting an AA in art. Did you? 
No. Okay. <laughs> so, so I stuck with it and I liked it. It took me a long time because I had, uh, I, you know, I was having children. I was having problems with this man of mine. I, just a lot of things. But I stuck with it off and on and I did it. I did 10 years parole, which she didn't even know about parole. At that time, I'm sure if I'd have told her, she'd have to ask me, what's that? But I knew about parole because I was on it, right? And I had 10 years to do it and I did it. But meanwhile, um, I got in trouble. Right after I got off of pro and everything, I picked up a case and I got arrested. So in, in, in going to court and stuff, I had to tell Shirley because I want her to write me a letter. Because we always knew, I, I did anyway, that the judges like to see something good about you. I have my school write a letter, my teacher write a letter, Shirley write a letter. Surely because she knew about kids and she was a good parent and she had never been in trouble and I was trying to be her friend so she'd teach me something good because I really didn't know much, you know. And so uh, I kind of clung to her. She's kind of like, who are you? And I just I kept on it until she accepted me. I told my daughter, I said, I made her like me because she really didn't want to bother. So anyway, uh, it helped. The letter was good. The judge read parts of it in, in, in court and he told me, he said, well, you know what? It seems like you are trying to be a good parent and you probably deserve another chance. So based on Mrs. Smith's, I guess you're going by Smith, yes, uh, letter, he said, I'm going to give you a chance. And he did. And I was so happy because I'd been in enough trouble to know that was a blessing. I knew that. So, okay, thank you, Your Honor. So I ran, I told Shirley and everything. Well, uh, maybe a few months later, I picked up another case. Same old thing, selling and using drugs. So I went to Shirley again. I said, Shirley, I'm getting some more letters. Can I get another one? She's mad then. She said, what? Another letter? I just got you a letter not too long ago. No, you can't get another. You're still messing up. I said, no, I'm trying. No, she would not do it. I got mad. I said, okay. So I went to court without my letter. Still, I had to do jail, jail time. I had to do jail time that time. And so I had those few months to fester in there. <laughs> and so was that when, okay, let's see. Yeah, okay. I, I um, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> okay, she, I didn't ever tell her I was mad. She knew it, though. I told her the day she did, wouldn't do the letter. But uh, anyway, so then uh, I knew about what, how much time I'd have to do, too. So I... Uh, wanted to make arrangements for my kids, but I wasn't going to allow that. I was not going to let them go into foster care. They were already teens by then. My daughters were. My son was little. That's why he can't talk about this today. He's past 30, but he's still little, and he can't talk about it because of that foster home thing that happened to him. He's really, really uh, hurtful about it. I don't know. I can talk about it better than him. him I don't know. But my daughters were teens. So um, I had enough money and I went and got more and I put it aside for them to take care of themselves. I left them with money to pay the bills, to take care of each other, to take care of their brother, and to not get in any trouble, which they weren't trouble prone. So that six out of 10 that go to penitentiaries with you, that's not my kids. So, um, <laughs> so they, uh, they all did pretty good. They're all doing know fairly well and it's certainly good about not going to jail thank God <laughs> but uh, so yeah so anyway um, I, I had a friends looking at it at looking in you know checking with them going by the house making sure everybody was still going to school they were doing all of that they did pretty good I have to say that and they came and see me so anyway I was relieved of that and by the time I got out of there I was through being mad at Shirley because after all, I went and did the time for that letter. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if she was responsible for that, but still. <laughs> so, but still, anyway, it came out pretty good. And I love my children, and um, I, I've always loved them very much, no matter what. And you know, my son, who hates to talk about anything like this, told me and has told me a million times, well, Mom, we always knew you loved us no matter what. You left because they took you. You didn't leave because they said, so, so long, I'll see you later. I never did that. I always was for them. And so today, um, I live with my son. I love my daughters. They love me back. And thank God for something. Because, uh, you know, I feel bad about the life I lived. But, can I say, I did it. I didn't know any better at the time. I didn't know another way to do it. 
And you know, if I'd have had some of that parenting stuff taught to me in the penitentiary the three times I went, I'm sure it would have helped, even though all I gave them all my love and everything I could afford. But the point is, I'd have had some more structure and I'd have probably been better off parent for them. As it was, they loved me anyway. So. <laughs> I can't, who do I introduce next? Who do I introduce next? The warden. The warden. <laughs> <laughs> the warden. The where warden. are you? <laughs> He's a prettier warden than I am. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, just because I'm now taller than you doesn't mean I have any more wisdom than you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you did great, Gloria. Okay, baby, um, thank you. Yeah. I, really, I wanted, I forgot to tell them how great I was doing as a drug and alcohol counselor. I forgot to tell them I've been clean 17 years. I forgot all 18. And I forgot you know all what? of that. And I, you I know just what? Was, you still did good. Thank you, baby. All right. <laughs> it was a great program, thank Gloria. You, and I enjoyed and it. And I think you were the best part. Oh, I do too, honestly. Perfect. Thank you.